small or big camera? Do I need to be inconspicuous? Does it matter? Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and I'm a photographer and I think full frame is by far the most versatile format there is. And in this video I'm going to or trying to explain why I think so. But before I go into that I'd like to thank Focus Nordic Finland for lending me some gear for this trip and one such gear is piece of gear is the Tamron 28-75mm f2.8 zoom lens and I'm going to talk about this lens a little bit also in this video. Full frame is for whatever reason quite controversial topic or format because especially those who use small format cameras like Micro Four Thirds, especially Micro Four Thirds, they usually see red as soon as someone even mentions full frame, let alone say some good words about the full frame. But anyway, the other day I went for a photo walk with my friends June and Robin and I took the biggest camera lens combo that I have uh, here with me on this trip and that combo would be this Tamron 28 28 to 75 millimeter f 2.8 zoom lens and my Sony a7 mark IV camera Unfortunately, I can't show you the camera I can't hold it in my hands because I'm using that camera to film this video I had no specific photos in mind and I actually didn't even know the location that well I had never been there before I was just going to hang out with friends and maybe capture a few nice pictures the reason I took this combo with me was that I haven't been using it much because I've been using other cameras for photography all the time like my Ricoh GR3 and the 3X and some Micro Four Thirds cameras that I borrowed from my friends. But full frame offers some advantages over smaller formats and one probably significant advantage is a proper depth of field control. And I'm not talking about uh, blurring the background into oblivion. That in most cases looks boring and it serves no purpose in storytelling. I'm talking about subtly emphasizing the main subject in the picture. And with a full frame camera I can do that even with a wide angle lens. And I don't need super fast aperture primes to be able to do that primes that have maximum aperture of f1.2 or f1.4. I can do that with a, a normal normal <laughs> f2 or f2.8 prime lens or even with an f2.8 zoom lens easily. My full frame setup was a perfect choice for that outing that day with Chun and Robin. And it was also a welcome change even though I had no specific pictures or mission in mind that day. But I've been shooting a lot with my Ricoh GR3 and the 3X lately and I love these little cameras but with these cameras I have a specific or certain shooting style. I snapshoot for the lack of a better word but of course I'm still very careful with my composition and what's in the frame. But I don't play or change my camera settings much. I mostly shoot on P mode, auto ISO and I just point and shoot with these cameras. With a full frame of course I cannot point and shoot the same way. Mainly because I have to watch that depth of field but that is not the downside at all. I just have to shoot accordingly and I really enjoyed the full frame benefits that day and uh, one obvious benefit is the proper depth of field control which I have uh, mentioned already a couple of times in this video and I'm very happy with the pictures that I got and I definitely have to shoot more on this same setup and this Tamron with my Sony a7 Mark IV was not too heavy or too big at all it actually weighs in only at about 1.3 kilograms and with all due respect I think every adult human being in normal health should be able to carry that much all day long without any strain or stress. 
I think one reason why especially amateur photographers put so much emphasis on the small size is that they usually don't have any mission or assignment. They are just casually snapping away or hanging out with friends and socializing, which I also do a lot. And in that kind of a situation, photography can become like a secondary thing. And of course, a small camera is better or nicer to carry around in that kind of situation. And it doesn't really matter what camera you have because you don't have any specific pictures um, in mind. And if you have a small format camera, it's also easier to shoot with compared to a bigger format like a full frame camera because there's always plenty of depth of field. So no need to worry about that and also no need to worry so much about the focus because the depth of field covers minor focusing errors. And I also like to carry a small camera like the GR3X whenever I'm out there not specifically taking photos. Like the other day I met a friend at the cafe and after that I went to get some groceries and of course I'm not gonna take my uh, Tamron Sony combo for that. I had my Ricoh GR3X with me because I can fit this in my pocket and as a matter of fact I did not take any pictures that day but I still had my camera with me because I like to have a camera with me all the time. Whenever I have a photo assignment or project or something specific in mind, something photo related specific in mind, I choose my gear uh, carefully and I consider what would work the best for that particular project. I'm considering the shooting environment. What am I shooting? Portraits, landscapes or something else? Do I need low light performance or does the image quality matter a lot for that uh, particular project? Small or big camera? Do I need to be inconspicuous? Does it matter? And then the lenses, of course. I consider what lenses I have for my different systems and then I decide which lenses would work the best for that particular project. And that's how I come into a conclusion in the end. And if you decide to leave a comment down below, and please do leave, I'd like to hear your opinion, but please do not uh, use that worn out argument that no one can see the difference, because that is totally 110% beside the point. The viewers can only see the final photo. They don't know what went on behind the scenes and what the shooting situation was. I, as a photographer, have to choose the gear, the camera, lens that I can trust in every way. So the gear setup matters to me as a photographer. It doesn't matter to the viewer. If the final photo looks perfect, it means that I, as a photographer, chose the right uh, camera and lens to execute that particular photo. I don't want my audience to ponder my gear setup or my choice of gear. I want them to enjoy my photos. And I think full frame definitely is not an overkill. I think today full frame is by far the most versatile format. And that is based on my 40 plus years as a photographer and about 25 years using digital cameras and having shot uh, commercial assignments on every format from point and shoot to digital medium format. But full frame is not the best for every occasion, of course. There is no such camera that would be perfect for every occasion. For street, for example, I prefer my GR3 and 3X cameras and I also miss my Fuji a little. But my Fuji is back in Helsinki at the moment and uh, maybe I can shoot on my Fuji next summer when I'm back in Helsinki. I think it's important to acknowledge the benefits of each system and each camera. And even if you only have one camera, I think it's important to realize or recognize the benefits or upsides and downsides of that camera because that can help you to create better pictures on your camera. 
I hope this gave you some food for thought. And by all means, leave a comment down below because I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. And please also consider buying me a cup of coffee if you don't live in Finland. There's a link down below that would help me to stay up and make more of these videos for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll definitely see you in the next video.